I'm so excited to get to do Kids Church with you guys again. Um, I hope you've all got your listening ears ready because today's story is very exciting. Okay, but before we get started, we are going to say a prayer. So let's close our eyes and bow our heads and let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for this beautiful day. Thank you for these wonderful boys and girls that are here eager and excited to learn more and more about you, Lord. I pray that your Holy Spirit fills them, Lord, that you open their eyes and ears to to hear your word and to understand your word, Lord, and just to, to grow more in their desire to know you, Jesus. In your mighty, mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. So, today's story picks up exactly where we left off last time. There's lots of exciting things that are going to happen. So are you ready? Can I get a drum roll? Did, did you hear a drum roll, cameraman? Not in here, a drum roll. Can I get a drum roll? And let's take it away. So, the Israelites crossed the river. And when they were at the walls of the city of Jericho, they met a man standing at the gate who was actually an angel. The angel told Joshua that the army of the Lord had now come and that Jericho would be given to them. The angel told Joshua in Joshua chapter 5 verse 15, the angel said, Take off your sandals from your feet, for the place where you are standing is holy. So Joshua did as the angel told him and took off his sandals. The Lord told Joshua that he was to take his army and they were to march around the city of Jericho for six days. He also said that the seven priests had to carry the Ark of the Covenant and blow their trumpets, and their trumpets were made of ram's horns. On the seventh day, everyone was to march around the city seven times with the priests blowing their trumpets. Joshua commanded the people that after he gave the signal, they were all to give a large shout. And this is exactly what the Israelites did. And on the seventh day, after marching around the city seven times, Joshua gave the signal for everyone to shout. The Israelites obeyed. And as the shout went out, you know what happened? The walls collapsed. The Israelite army entered into Jericho and took over. Everyone was killed in Jericho, except for Rahab and her family, because she had been told to tie the red rope outside her window, remember, by the two spies that she had saved. The Lord was with Joshua and the Israelites, and they went on to capture many different cities. And all these cities and lands were divided up among the twelve tribes. The Israelites were now as many as the stars in the skies, and they had taken possession of the promised land that was given to their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They lived with plenty of food, and they continued to grow in number, just as God had promised. As time went on, Joshua died. And the Israelites started forgetting about all the amazing things God had done for them. They started worshipping idols and not trusting God like they had done when Joshua was leading them. When the Israelites turned away from God and started worshipping idols, God allowed foreign countries to attack them and even overcome them. God did this to show the people that they needed to return to him. The Israelites suffered under the rule of many foreign countries 
And then, in desperation, they would call out to God for his mercy and help. In his mercy, God raised up a person called a judge who would help lead the Israelites out of their bondage. Hmm, I wonder who these judges were. And I wonder if the people would turn back to God. Maybe one of the judges was the promised one that would relieve the people from always turning away from God to idols and sinning. Let's hear in the next narration. And for today, we've got some questions for you in the description below. So it should be below here, somewhere down here where I'm pointing. So you can ask your grown up to help you go over the questions and go over the answers together. Can't wait to see you next time. I know I said bye, but I'm back. It's time for us to do a song. And last week we did the song, My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. And guess what? We're going to build onto that song. I love that song so much. So we're going to add um, a couple of lines to the song that help us remember the Bible stories, okay? So I want you guys to get up. Yes, you, get up. You got to get up and do the dances with me. I don't want to do it all alone. You ready? Are you all standing up? Okay, let's go from the beginning. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. One more time. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. He brought back the power. Okay, so let's do the new lines, okay? So we're going to start with talking about Jericho. So we go, crushed Jericho's walls. So what I'm saying is crushed Jericho's walls because he, it was God that made the walls fall down. So we go, crushed Jericho's walls and parted the Jordan. There's nothing my God cannot do. One more time. Crushed Jericho's walls and parted the Jordan. There's nothing my God cannot do. Should we do it all together from the top? Okay, you ready? I want to hear you singing. I saw some videos from your grown-ups last time and it was amazing hearing you guys sing. So let's sing it together. And uno, dos, tres. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Crushed Jericho's walls, parted the Jordan. There's nothing our God cannot do. That's our God, y'all. Okay, I really, really, really hope to see you guys next week so that we can find out together about these judges. God bless you. Have a lovely week. Bye.